Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things LEGO. Hit the link below to find a store near you. Hi there, I'm Joshua Hinlin, and today I'm in South Africa with Brent, and we're going to be taking a look at unplugged coating with six LEGO bricks. So do you want to give us an overview of kind of how this works and a bit of a challenge of what we'll be doing here? Sure. So what we want is children to be able to systematically work out a solution to a problem. And we want to do that step by step. And a LEGO brick is a perfect step. So every time we add a brick, we add a step. So we have on this side over here, we have a coding mat where we're going to build our code. And we have a key at the top. So the key says that today we're using green for start, red for stop, yellow to move forward. And then we have two blue bricks, left and right, turn left and right, diagonally or turn 90 degrees. And then a, a orange, we may use orange to jump. So here we have a minifigure, and the minifigure is on a mat, what we call a coding mat. It only has pictures, and the children have to decode the pictures. So we start with decoding on the mat, and we're going to do coding on the coding mat. So this minifigure lives in the house where the dog is, and it's a really hot day in South Africa today, like it is here. <laughs> and right now you'd love an ice cream, right? Absolutely. So we're going to go and find an ice cream. Can you find an ice cream on the board? Uh, I think right there. Ah, fantastic, one. great. <laughs> so what we want to do is we want to use our steps and our bricks to work out how to get from the house to the ice cream. And I'm going to let you have a turn. You've never done this before. I'm not. So, no, we're going to. And I will suggest changes that you might need to make <laughs> if you need to make them. Okay, so we have, we have this minifigure. She's facing the right way. The entrance is in front of her, so she's ready to start. So what do you think you want to put down as a start? So I need to put the green here as a start? Fantastic. Then and do I, do I put the color in the column underneath? No, the... so you actually put the brick in the middle. Okay, gotcha. And later on, you'll notice that the start is in C7. If we wanted to, we could write C7, so almost like chess or almost building a code, yeah. we could actually put the code in. But for now, we're just going to use the bricks. Okay, what do, you, what do you think she needs to do? So, I think she needs to move forward then to leave the house Fantastic. to get the ice cream. <laughs> well done, next. And then I think we need to turn. So we'll take a dark blue brick here. Yeah. And is it turned to the left or turned to the right? Uh, to, the, to the left. Okay, so then move your brick to the left, one space. There we go, fantastic. So now you've said turn to the left. There Great, we go. so I've turned to the okay. left. Next. And now I think she needs to move forward again. So Great. put the yellow there and we'll move forward one more time. Fantastic. And then we need to move again. So we'll take a dark blue brick and we once again need to go to the left. There Fantastic. we go. Keep moving forward. I can smell the ice cream getting closer. <laughs> Uh, we need to turn again here, so this time we need to return to the right, so I'll put that there. There we go. And then we'll move forward once again. And turn to the left here. And I think move forward once more, and then one final time takes you to the ice cream shop. Well done, fantastic, <laughs> and there we get our ice cream. And that's unplugged coding, so it's not plugged into any device, and you've built a program. And whether the program is being read from left to right, or from top to bottom, or bottom to top, it doesn't matter. And the other thing that we could do is we could actually take the bricks, and we could actually physically build our program. So even though our program was on a mat, I could now take this program, and let's say this was the end of the program, I could build it, and I could give it to somebody else, and I could actually give you a different challenge today, which is, that is somebody getting an ice cream, where do they live? Oh, And now you, you would have to decode yes. it and go backwards. <laughs> So the, there's so many possibilities with this and using just physical Lego bricks in a way that I think a lot of people don't typically think about it. Exactly. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, thank you for showing us this. Are there resources available online if people want to check this out and maybe use it in classrooms or with their kids uh, in other parts of the world? Yes, so we've got online materials. And again, I suggest going to Care for Ed, Care for Education, and I guess you will put that up on the yes. screen. And if they start at Care for Education, we'll point to where we can get these mats and then they just need to collect some bricks. You don't have to use the colors that we've used here. You can use any Lego bricks. So as long as you've got access to bricks, you can do unplugged coding. You can also use an if statement. So we use a one brick and the one brick would mean um, if, which is a true false statement, a binary statement, one or, or zero. Uh, if, if it's true, go to the left. If it's false, go to the right. So the if statement means that on this side over here, if it's on the right, it's, it's false. If it's on the left, it's true. So if I get to something, I can always have an if statement that says, if a blue brick is in front of you, you can jump over it. 
So then you can say, is there a blue brick? Yes, there is. Therefore, I can jump. Therefore, I can jump over it. But the statement may be, if there's a blue brick, you can't jump over it. And then I have to change my strategy. So the if statements, we can start using if statements as well. Mm -hmm. It's quite a cool thing in programming, just as an extra. So you're almost taking all the programming terms and you're building it into a game. Yeah. Into a, yeah. And using Lego is such a great tactile way to get to get people to understand that because it's you're, a lot of these these coding ideas are things that can maybe scare people away a lot of times. But with Lego, it's very inviting, and you get bright colors, and you're able to to play around with it and move the bricks. Yeah. And who thought that you know a set of bricks like this in your hand could be a program? You know, whenever you ever thought of that as being a program, but if you take Scratch and and you think about Scratch and all the different you know all the colors mean something. So we know now yellow means move. Uh, you picked that up very, very quickly, right? So it, it, the, the association wasn't difficult to make. Mm -hmm. So what we are teaching is what they call executive function skills because teaching, children are learning association. So we're learning which is part of what they call cognitive flexibility and that's that higher order or problem solving. It, it's really a powerful... So a lot of people would say, well, is there any value in doing what we're doing? There's a huge value in doing this and getting children to understand it. And as long as they're doing it in a playful way, they're going to enjoy it and they're going to want to do more. And of course, we can make it more complex, like we can do the decoding, the, the, up the reverse. But if I gave you the code, I could also give you a code which says C7, C9. So you can work out, all right, they started in C7. What did they do? If they were here in C7 and they went to C9, how did they get to C9 or how did they get there? So did they jump off? The, where did they go? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's all that deductive thinking. It could be a bit of a challenge to the children. Almost the teacher's sitting like, can you be a detective today? <laughs> can you find out what happened? Uh, you can make it really exciting. Yeah. And, and you can change your, your mat by taking a blank one and getting the children to build their own. So you can even make it exciting. Children can build their own decoding mats and their own you know, coding mats. So I think the, the important part as well is Lego bricks allow you to be flexible. Just the same as it does in a building a model, it allows you to be flexible in any of the activities that you're doing as well. That's huge for the flexibility. Yeah. No, I think that's incredible. So thank you so much for, for taking us through this whole system and I can't wait to see what you do in the future with it. Thank you. Cool.